This is Skip. Welcome back to my State of the Signal Community Address in Episode 3. Hot Topic, Why the Local Mom and Pop Pet Stores Are Closed. I'm going to try to wrap it up in this episode, people. Right now, you're viewing a saltwater tank. I'm currently in the National Aquarium downtown in D.C. off of Pennsylvania Avenue. Try to walk you guys through here while we discuss this hot topic. There's the monitors. Wow, beautiful hippo tame. Damsels, foxfish. Well, people, as I said before, in episode two, I do think that the local mom and pop pet stores are needed, as well as I think that they all, well not all, but most of them, will make it into the years to come. Beautiful, beautiful. Also, I have a couple of announcements to make before I continue with this video series. For you all who wants to place order with me, um, I will be ready to ship in the next couple of weeks. I do apologize in advance. And I do apologize to most of the people who have been emailing me and calling me constantly asking me for Pyro Trimax and Boss Cichlids and all Cichlids alike. The reason why I was unable to uh, accommodate you guys is because my aquariums are located outside as some of you guys know and my water supplies is outside as well. And in order for me to do water changes I need for the temperature outside to be above 60 so that I won't stress my fish out by uh, placing cold water in there. Their, uh, their aquariums, they are tropical fish. They're not native to North America, so therefore they need water temperatures to be at least 70 degrees, at least above 60 in order for me to do water changes safely without harming my fish causing ick and other uh, stress related diseases. So now that I got that out of the way, also I want to thank all my younger viewers, my main man Patrick from DC, he has Big Turbo, a nice Dovi, and I have another uh, young guy, Chris from Virginia, and, and uh, quite a few guys, I mean people have a lot of kids that are special need kids, kids that watch my videos, kids that watch them with their parents. So I would like for you guys to be mindful of that and also be respectful that these kids may try to contact you or talk to you via YouTube or email. And these kids, some of these kids are very young and some of these kids, some of these kids are special needs kids. So uh, please be, you know, treat them with respect as well. I would appreciate that. Beautiful angel. Gosh. I thought I saw a nice uh, blue queen angel in the back, but maybe not. Let's move on. Oh, look at that black angel. Well, I'm going to wrap this, this series up. Basically, like I said before, I do believe that all the local mom and pop pet stores are needed. They're necessary. I think they're the starting point for most newcomers or neophytes or beginners that uh, enter to our aquarium community. And I do believe by making this video series and gathering input from all you guys that 
the local and not so local, like pet stores on the east or west coast, or just local in your area, can benefit from this video series, can benefit from our input and learn how to make adjustments by uh, listening to you guys' comments and mine as well. This is an awesome Sicily community. All you guys are, have been great. I, I really want this this video series to go viral so we can add more people to our community and we can raise the excitement level in this community. We have a, a pretty large community. I mean, we have Jeff Heiser, my main man, Dog Man, Big Mike, Damo, Juan, you know, Ja. You know, if I don't mention your name, please don't be offended. I will mention it later on in some of my other video episodes. But these are the names that come to mind at this moment. You know, man, Sickly Man 09, all you guys have been releasing awesome videos in reference to the hobby, and you guys have been doing a great job. And I would like for the rest of the world to see and witness the job that this community has done. This community is well needed. I believe that this, I believe hobbies can help shape young viewers and young kids' minds. Because we have a lot of, we have a lot of things going on in this world with shootings and, and, and crime related issues with youth. And really the youth don't have a place to go as far, I mean, Video games and things of that nature you use to babysit kids. When you give a kid a hobby, such as this one, you give them responsibility. And you also give these young viewers and these kids an opportunity to nourish something and grow something up and respect nature itself and respect themselves. No groupers are one of my favorite saltwater fish. Let's move on. Excuse the noise in the background. I am in a public place filming this live April 9th, 2013. Look at that leopard shot. So, the second portion to the series. Um, why I think some of the um, people in the community are dropping out of the hobby, it's because of respect level, people. Some people don't respect other people's opinions. Some people don't know how to express their opinions and give, you know, suggestions that can help another person without criticism. And then some people just can't take constructive criticism, period. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's a two-way street, people. And I think that, that plays a big role. I think the fact that the community need more leaders like myself to um, nurture certain people. I have a lot of people that, that follow me and a lot of people that, you know, I pretty much mentor in and, in and out of this hobby. I told you guys, I'm already solidifying this hard. I mean, you know, I'm a household name as far as the aquaculture is concerned. There are only two other people in this business or this hobby that are more popular than myself, and that's Don Cog and Jeff Ramps. I'm like a walking encyclopedia. Most of the people in this community, biologists, ichthyologists, people that I talk to in Europe, I talk to people in Japan constantly. I mean, I'm in, you know, I'm engaged in conversation with a lot of people all over the globe, and they all call me the walking encyclopedia as far as this uh, aquatic encyclopedia as far as this hobby is concerned. Because I know fresh water, salt water, brackish water. I know all my species of sharks. The only area in aquaculture that I lack in is like 
freshwater aquatic plants. I know more about saltwater aquatic plants than I do freshwater. I'm into aquaponics. I'm about to start an aquaponics system at my home very soon. So, you know, if you guys have any questions, you know you guys always have, you always welcome to call me. But I think that we all need to learn to respect others and we all need to realize that other people are different. We have different cultural backgrounds. We have different, you know, races of people and people respond differently to certain situations and certain questions and we need to respect that and we need to make sure that's understood within this hobby. There's no reason for all of us not to get along. We're all brothers and sisters within this hobby. And like I said, this hobby is, is long, long, long ago become a, a business for me. Wow, this is some beautiful sight. I uh, excuse the camera quality. It is dark down here in the National Aquarium. So there'll be moments where you may see some dark areas. Basically, I just want to get my point across. I go over here and take a look at these shops again, these groupers. Oh, this is my baby right here. You can also come down to the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue, not far from the White House, and you can sponsor certain fish. I, I've uh, sponsored a few fish here at the National Aquarium over the years. Like I said, I'm involved in the community. I do speak at libraries to young kids and show them how to set up a query and stuff. That's why I say I have a lot of young kids and young viewers on YouTube watching these videos. So I would like for people to be mindful of that and be respectful of that. So I look forward to my next segment. Whew, it's gonna be another hot topic, people. Mm, mm, mm. I, you think this topic was hot? Wait, <laughs> wait till you see the next one. This is the end of this uh, segment of my State of the Sigla Community Address. The next video you will see will be my next topic. I'm out.